Back with Jason's Burn. Jason's Burn. Ale Sun was getting ready to qualify the other day and had a little temperature. We gave her a week off, which turned into a number of weeks off with this COVID-19 scare. So who knows when she'll be ready. As I said, we'll be training all these horses up tight, assuming we'll be back racing sooner than later. Cambridge Star trained good today. A big move in the third quarter from him. Compass Rose DC qualified good the other day. James was very, very happy with her. Globe trotting was getting close also. I said to Jason, take your time. He said he'd been in 2-8 with her. Said she hadn't had the hobbles on yet and didn't feel like she needed them. That would be cool. But globe trotting uh, obviously will get her down to the races now whenever they happen. Uh, Johan, again, trained him probably 2-4 this week at the firm. Mama Knows Best. We will, um, she trained today, sat last, come charging on the end of it. Need to do that for a little while with her. Here's my issue with Mama Knows Best. She sweats a lot, she gets a little anxious, a little nervous, and if she's getting anxious and nervous and all frothed up and sweaty when it's minus two in March, how's she gonna be when it's plus 5,000 in Ohio in the middle of the summer? So Mama Knows Best, we're gonna take it easy with her. One uh, one move, just one move with her, sit at the back and move her once, see if we can get her putting a lot more weight on and becoming a little more comfortable on the track. She's done everything great. She's a really, really nice filly. Just need to help her out now, and I think that's what we're going to do moving forward. Overdue mission, fully over that uh, dirty abscess she had in her foot now. That's cleaned up and getting dried up. She looks great on the track. Susie K was racing, going to be in on Saturday, or in on Tuesday. That didn't work out. Sebastian Yu was in to go. He also is now scratched. Uh, Rose Run Versatile made, I would say, a very rare break. She made a break on me the week before, and it was my fault. And I don't know what she did the other day, but she'll be back in to go very soon, as soon as we can, to qualify. Rose Run Valiant will be ready to go as soon as they're back. So we'll see, sometimes things happen qualified already and look good doing it. And spend that money was very good. 28 second speed on the end of it. Needed one more qualifier. All these horses needed one more qualifier. We just ran out of time. So hopefully we're back soon. Hopefully we're back soon. The stable is back and Ontario Racing is back and the world is back. It is a very strange time on planet Earth. So... That is it. That's all your videos for today. I'll leave you with a little optimism. Next Saturday, our two horses in Australia race for $100,000. That is Girl From Oz and Rockin' Down Under. For those of you who are interested in buying into uh, any of the Australian horses that we bought at the sale this year, there's four of them. Sebastian K, Two War We Needies, and um, the Pace and Colt. Uh, oh, why do I keep forgetting that horse's name? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um... Uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. It's really annoying me. Always be Mickey. <sighs> um, if anybody wants to buy into those horses, there are some. There isn't any shares left in the Mickey Colt, but there are some shares floating around. Not on this side of the ocean, but the other side. And I know they were quietly saying, "Hey, if you wanted more shares, we could give them to you." Um, so if you want to get involved with them uh, early, they don't race for a year. But if you want to get involved with them, uh, we can probably work something in. So that is it. Uh, as I said, strange times. Uh, I'm a little happier today because the horses trained so good today. We're going to try and bring you two drone videos next week. I'd love to show you guys the three-year-olds training harder at the firm. And then, again, come back Saturday with them training at the firm on Saturday. That would be great. So that's what we're going to try and do for you. We can't do a whole lot. We're going to do the best we can for everybody. And I know everybody's going to do the best they can to stay happy and optimistic because that's what we do here at thestable.ca. So... Uh, we're aiming for two drone videos next week. I'll talk to Kevin, Harry, uh, Jason, and Mario on Monday. See if we can't get that done. And then we will uh, send those set lists out to you guys. And I'll have sim similar set lists of today out to you guys also for next Saturday. So that is it. That is a weird weekend. No racing except for on the other side of the world. And hopefully they race those. As of right now, um, they're talking about they may have a... They may be able to combat COVID-19, the coronavirus. Um, I just heard that story on the news. Hopefully, we can start to put this behind us. Obviously, it's not something that will happen today or tomorrow. But as I said, uh, hopefully in the next two, three, four weeks. So, optimistically, I'm going to sign off. I want you guys to keep your head up and uh, stay safe, stay healthy. Um, I guess practice social distancing called uh, six feet six feet and uh, we'll work through this together so thank you all very very much for the very kind comments you sent this week and we will be in touch soon